Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a first look as well as a basic walkthrough of the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro. So to get started with the watch, so when you first get it out of the box, obviously you've got to start it up, go through the menus to get your watch started, um, you know, set your language, stuff like that, connect it with your phone. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do on the Garmin app, so definitely recommend getting that. So first look at the interface, um, really cool, I really like the style of it. You can change the display faces, if you go through, uh, there's another Garmin app and you can change so much stuff, but we'll get into that a bit later. First button up here, you hold it down, it comes to your quick select menu where you've got a whole bunch of stuff. Sorry, wrong button. You can go through all these and it's just quick access to all this sort of stuff. So you got your up and you got your down on the bottom here. Which when you're on the main menu it goes into your widgets. So you got your weather, your sunset, your compass, all this sort of stuff, which you can customize to your whatever you want it to be. There's also downloadable widgets as well, so pretty handy stuff. Um, stuff that you can keep track of pretty quickly. So this button down here is the back button, and then this one, while it's in this screen, it's basically start your activity, go back, and then. It's also your kind of select menu, so we'll dive into that now. We'll go into the widgets. So let's say we're in weather, we want to get a bit more info, press enter, and it comes up with a whole bunch of different information, which is handy. So press back. So if you go up and down, you know, you get your hourly forecast, your daily, all that sort of stuff. So you can play around with your different widgets and see what works for you, you got your sunrise, sunset, go on a compass, you got a whole bunch of different menus for that, which all comes in handy. If you go all the way back out of that, so go on to the quick menu again, and kind of cycle through that, go through things like battery saver mode, so currently we have 14 days in the current mode that we're in, turn that on, it turns to 48 days, but you do lose a lot of the features of the watch so that's kind of if you're just on a long expedition and you basically just need to tell the time stuff like that turn that back on you got your music controls so basically with the music you can sync it to your spotify um, and a few different apps um, then you can download those things from spotify and listen it listen to it straight through your headphones which is handy if you're going on runs you don't want to carry a phone in your pocket Music does drain the battery quite a lot, but it's also nice when you're just going on, you know, your morning runs, you want to listen to a podcast, stuff like that. Just make sure you pre-download it before you go out. So you get your wallet, you get your Garmin Pay, so you set up your card in that. It's pretty simple. Um, you can go out, pay for stuff, you know, like when you're on your morning run, you don't want to carry your phone, pick up a coffee on the way through. So you get your timers, so you can set your timer, just stand and watch stuff. Your alarm clock, so 5am alarm, I've already set that for this morning, Sunday morning, what a poor decision that was. Save location, so you can save this location, um, if you, you know, you're out on the trail, you find something really cool, you can save that, but obviously you've got to calibrate your GPS. Alternate time zones, you know, me being Australian, Amy Canadian, sometimes that may come in handy, or if you just travel a lot in general. You got Find My Phone, which is pretty self-explanatory. Help you find your phone, you've lost it around the house. Do Not Disturb mode, which for me it automatically switches on after 10 p.m. and switches off after 5 a.m. So you don't get notifications buzz through while you're sleeping, which is handy. Obviously power off, power on. Uh, you can customize this menu, so if you go back out. So if you hold down the up button, it's also a menu button which comes to this screen. So. It's where you do a lot of the customization. So if you go into watch face, it does have a bunch of preloaded watches on there. You can go through those. Um, like I mentioned earlier, you can download other ones to your liking, but I like the one that's already installed on it. You can, so if you go there, you can add new. Uh, we won't play around with that too much. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna select this one. You can also customize it, so you can customize what 
goes around there, which is nice and handy. I'll just go back, get down to clocks, you know, your alarms, your timers, stuff like that, nothing special. History, history's history, it's, you know, your training record, stuff like that. Go down, these are your, your main settings. Go down, you can customize all this stuff. Challenges, Strava routes, whatever you've got installed on there, set for yourself. We'll go through all that later. You got your widgets, so you can customize those to, you know, whatever ones you want to go into. You've got a whole bunch of different ones already on there and some that you can add yourself. Go down to add. Got all these ones. Beer counter is a good one. Golf if you're into golf, that sort of stuff. Down to controls. So you can customize all of this sort of stuff. That's on your quick menu when you hold this button when you're in the main screen. You can adjust what's on there and what's not. I see your watch face, just more customizations there, um, sensors and accessories, you know, if you've got, um, you know, cycle accessories, stuff like that, you can sync it there, you got your map where you can change kind of your theme there to whatever works for whatever activity you're doing, just go none, orientation, you can change all that sort of stuff, locations, etc. Down to music, you can change different music providers, that sort of stuff. Spotify for me, that's what I use. Headphones, sync your headphones, audio, you can change the modes there, nothing much there. So if you go out of that, so basically the main features of the watch, so if you click your activity button, you've already got some loaded in there, different activities, Stuff like that, and then you can obviously add them yourself. There's heaps to choose from. You can also customize your own. Let's so go back and we'll go select an activity. Let's go run. Basically, you've got your different data screens. So I've got six data screens, which is the max on this model. If you get the 6X, you can have eight data screens. And you can customize all of this. I've customized it. I've only played around with it a little, so it's not exactly customized to what I'll keep it at. But one of the ones that I like, and that is an, a third party app, is the beer counter. So, nothing better than knowing how much beer you deserve after a good run, good workout, good hike, stuff like that. And if you did want to help me with those beers, um, link down below to coffee.com. Uh, you can donate any amount of dollars, it can be one dollar, it can be five dollars and that goes towards buying me beer uh, but if you really do want to support this channel help it out definitely hit the like button down below and of course subscribe that's the most help you can give this channel uh, the beer is just a little perk on the side that if you're feeling generous feel free to do that um, so if you go up you can kind of change your different things here your training navigation you can go to different points of interest around you food and drink, fuel, that sort of stuff that you'd find, you know, on a GPS from your car. And yeah, you can just customize so much on this watch. Different screens, time of day in this mode. You got your map, probably shouldn't show you where I live. So you go back. Now, one of the main things I got this for, basically, um, was your map. Your mapping, your GPS mapping, so there's another Garmin app you can download where you can track your own maps, you can pre-install GPX files, so I'm going to really put this to the test in a couple of months. After summer's over, you go tackle the Stirling Ridge Walk, which for those familiar know, can be very hard to find the track. Um, you can get lost and um, easily stray from it, so I'm going to download the GPX file for that and see how accurate it is, see how much it actually helps, and it is one of the main reasons why I bought this watch was for easy navigation and that sort of stuff. So I'll make another video in the future, basically showing you how to do all that. Uh, download the GPX file and of course follow it on here. And of course once you go into a mode, let's say we go into hiking. This is a third party app as well that I downloaded that has pre-installed trails on it. There we go. 
So, we want to go hiking. Anyway, we'll go back. It's our hiking screen now. Speed, pace, stuff like that. So, one of the other cool features about this watch, so if you go into your main menu, holding down that button, scroll all the way down. So if you go into power manager, you can actually go into power modes and you can adjust the mode you have to basically adjust how much power you want to get out of it. Um, obviously depending on your activity, so um, ultra track, 72 hours at full charge, it's got no heart rate, no phone connection, no music. So if you go into add new, doesn't have to, doesn't really matter what it's called, enter. So you can actually adjust this to basically your own preferences. You can adjust them for different activities. So you basically have a quick select of them all. So you go down, you can go into them and when you go into them, it tells you how much hours extra you get out of it or how much you lose, depending on what modes you want to go through. And music, so music doesn't actually tell you. It just varies by how much you're actually using the thing. So if you disconnect the phone, you get an extra hour. Wrist heart rate, so obviously, if you're not needing the heart rate, um, you can save a bit of battery, you get four hours. And you can adjust all these different things. Basically to maximize the battery for whatever activity that you're up to. So, go back out of that. And one more thing which I thought was cool before we wrap up this video. So it has actually safety and tracking, so basically it detects incidents. Um, obviously if you require assistance, then it can send your GPS to an emergency contact if need be. Um, you have to customize this to whatever you need for yourself. Um, there you go, you customize in the mobile app. So overall, first thoughts is basically love it. Um, can't really fault it so far. It takes a little bit to get used to the buttons. I'm always pressing back when I should be pressing up or down, stuff like that, but I figure that comes with time. Obviously the wrist strap, really adjustable, so one size fits all kind of thing, and they are easily removable, somewhat. So then you can obviously add different straps on there for what you need. Click that back in. Um, obviously your wrist monitor, um, your charge port on the back. Um, overall the watch uh, stylish, looks good, feels good, you know, feels comfortable around your wrist when you're going for runs. It's waterproof to a, a certain depth as well, so obviously if you're swimming, stuff like that, you can use it then. So that's going to wrap up this video. Obviously if you want me to go more in depth on the hiking features, uh, the mapping, that sort of stuff, navigation, um, after some extensive use I'm going to do another video just to kind of go over the watch again after I've used it for quite a while, uh, what works for me being a hiking channel, obviously I want to get the most out of the GPS navigation, stuff like that. So once I've put that to some extensive use, obviously I'll let you guys know how it is. If you want me to test out any features, obviously let me know. Is the watch worth buying in 2022? Short answer is yes. Long answer is, um, obviously there's probably a new model around the corner somewhere, uh, but if you keep an eye on things, these things go on sale all the time. Um, I bought it $500 off, so massive discount, and I did notice when I was in the market for them, they were going on discount every couple of weeks or so, so definitely keep an eye out for that, wait for a sale, and definitely pull the trigger. Uh, just one more thing I want to point out, the reason why I chose this model over the Solar model, really it was just a money point of view, an extra $500 or so for the Solar, obviously worth the money if you're in that sort of position, um, at this point in time I couldn't justify it. But obviously the solar does help with battery life, stuff like that. And the screen is just a little bit bigger. So that's going to wrap up this video, of course. If you liked it, definitely leave a like. And of course, subscribe helps out the channel so much. And hopefully see you in the next one.